so uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yu Tong Chao from the University of Macau, and so today uh, I will be presenting our research on a framework uh, of integrating HBeam uh, and GIS for automated uh, fair risk assessment of heritage buildings. So this is an overview of my presentation today. Uh, heritage buildings are at risk of fairs that threaten their conservation. For example, Wontao Temple in Macau faced a fair in 2020 causing uh, damage to its roof and exterior walls. Similarly, the uh, exhibition building uh, of Henan University uh, was completely destroyed by a fair uh, in May this year. So this incident uh, highlight the importance of uh, robust uh, fair risk assessment uh, methods for heritage buildings. Uh, however, uh, traditional uh, qualitative methods or uh, semi-qualitative methods have limitations such as uh, inefficient data collection and inconsistent results. So there is a need for more comprehensive and uh, quantifiable uh, risk models. So about this uh, figure, uh, we use this structure as the a foundation for the entire project. So fair risk factors can be categorized into four groups, uh, fair hazards, building and fair protection characteristics, surrounding environments, and uh, fair safety management. So to address these needs, uh, we propose quantitative uh, fair risk models. Uh, the risk of building inherent features is uh, quantified based on the fair resistance rating, FRR, and volumes of building elements. And the risk of external space characteristics considers the proximal access for uh, fair trucks and the special uh, separation against the fair propagation to adjacent buildings with corresponding risk calculation formulas. So this quantified risk uh, index uh, constitute the core models of our uh, study. So, so let's start uh, with the individual uh, fair risk index. This index tells us how risky a specific building elements is during a fair by using its fair resistance rating or FRR. Uh, simply put, FRR measures how many hours a building element can withstand fair. The formula to uh, calculate this is straightforward. Uh, fair risk index equals one minus the elements FRR divided by the maximum FRR, which is uh, in our case is six hours. And uh, move on to the weighted fair risk uh, index. So this one is about understanding the overall fair risks uh, of a building by considering both the individual fair risk index and the volume of each building element. Uh, the formula here is uh, weighted fair risk index equals one minus the uh, sum of each element's volume uh, times is fair risk index divided by the total. So we also ass assess the fair risk of external space characteristics. Uh, proximal access evaluates how uh, accessible the building is for emergency vehicles, uh, while spatial uh, separation measures the distance between the heritage building and surrounding uh, buildings to uh, prevent fair uh, propagation. The proximal assess uh, risk is calculated by evaluating the ways of roads uh, adjacent to the building. And uh, we divided it into two parts. If there is uh, at least one suitable site, the risk is lower, and if no suitable sites are available, but alternative roads are within 30 meters, uh, in our case, a different risk uh, calculation is applied. So, 
So special separation risk is calculated uh, based on the distance between the heritage building and its adjoining building. The minimum required uh, distance varies depending on whether the building are high risk or not. The overall risk is an average of the individual risk for each adjoining building. So finally, we combine the risk from proximal assess and the spatial separation to get the total fair risk index for external space characteristics. So uh, in the automated ass assessment phase, we utilize HBeam uh, to extract data um, FRR and volumes from the IFC model and GIS to retrieve uh, data on roadways and adjacent building from OpenStreetMap. Passing scripting is then employed to compute the risk based on the uh, extract data and integrate results uh, into a GIS software for uh, interactive 3D visualization, facilitating uh, decision making for stakeholders. So for our case, uh, case study, we chose the historic center of Macau, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site uh, since 2005. And we applied our framework to Mandarin's house, uh, Chinese style house, uh, uh, which is uh, in the historic center. And we created an HBeam, collected JS data, and performed uh, automated risk computation and visualization. And the results indicate that Mandarin's house has a moderate risk level of 0 0.66 uh, for building inherent features, but a high risk of uh, 0 0.76 for external characteristics. So the high risk for external characteristics is due to the close proximate to adjacent building reflecting fair hazards uh, in a dense urban environment. So in conclusion, we have proposed uh, quantitative uh, fair risk models for heritage buildings and integrated HBeam and GIS for automated risk assessment. And the case study validated the effectiveness of the proposed framework and however, there are limitations in terms of the scope of the risk factors and the rationality of model parameters and data quality, which want a further improvement. So in the future, we will expand the scope of risk assessment, uh, optimize the risk quantification methods, and enhance data uh, acquisition mechanisms to uh, support fair uh, prevention planning and emergency management for cultural heritage states. So finally, I would like to thank the RSK2 for their support. And yes, if you have any question or suggestion, please feel free to contact us. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much. If